Hello and welcome to my blog of the week presentation. Um, I'm doing it on voting rights and voting suppression, the current laws that are going into place and the changes that are happening since the last election. And ironically, I'm actually in Georgia. So pretty trees. <laughs> Let's get started. So voting rights today. Our essential question or guiding question is, do we still have voter suppression today? So first I want them to fill out the K part of the uh, KLW chart, which I'll show you later. And um, we're going to ask them, what do you already know about voting? So to take one or two minutes to write down on your chart how much they already know. And then we're gonna discuss it. And then we'll do a motivating activity. So which would you vote for? five minute longer lunch period or a five minute longer recess period. I'm sure that they'll have opinions about this. <laughs> some people want more time to eat and some people want more time to play, right? <laughs> so so um, I'm going to have them get up and go to either to one side of the room or the other. And then uh, we're going to, wait a minute. Did you know that only 66.7% of eligible voters voted in the last election, that's a little more than three of every five people. So what we'll do is we'll have two people randomly from, you know, out of every five. So to sit down and then it might change the outcome of the election. And then I'll ask them, do you think that that's fair? Is it fair for everybody for for um, so many people to be excluded and why or why not. Um, and then I'm going to ask them to fill out the W part of the KLW. So what do you want to know about voting? Take one minute to write out to write on what what do you want to know? And um, so now that I've kind of activated their their prior knowledge um, and kind of got them interested in the subject and about talking about exclusion. Um, what do they want to know? And then we're going to watch this video, which is a really great video. It touches very briefly on a whole bunch of things. So uh, at first it goes into the personal experience of uh, Teresa Burroughs from Alabama and how she went to, was, she, was denied the ability to register to vote before this, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 and what her experience was like, what led up to it, a bloody Sunday. Also, is the, vote, the right to vote guaranteed in the constitution and also about voter ID laws. So these are the discussion questions that I'll be asking um, during or really before this video and then we'll review them after the video. So why aren't voting rights guaranteed in the Constitution. What happened to Teresa Burroughs when she went to register to vote in Alabama? And why? So who was excluded? What happened on Bloody Sunday and what did it lead to? What age was voting before 1961? Uh, that's when um, it changed from, from 21 years of age to 18. And why did that happen? Um, well, I, I discussed that with them because I know the answer, it's not in the video about uh, Vietnam and the draft. Um, why is that important? Why is that change important to 18 important? How many people are eligible voters but don't have government issued ID? And what might be preventing those people from getting one? So that, the the photo ID question is answered in the video, but then the next one is kind of building on that. Um, what what might be preventing them from getting one is is a really a higher order thinking, critical thinking. What what might be um, happening in those people's lives to prevent them? Okay, and then okay, so now we're going to get into what's happening today. So. In March of 2021, the state of Georgia passed a new law that changes how elections are held in the state. Now, Texas is also in the process of considering a similar bill that would change how people vote. 
In the United States, at least 250 new laws have been proposed since the last election in 43 states. Many of these bills would limit mail-in voting, drive-through voting, in-person voting hours, and some, like in Georgia, would even make it illegal to give food and water to those waiting in line. So then we're going to do a document-based dis short discussion. Um, so here we have uh, this video, this uh, picture from uh, the Dallas Morning News. Uh, Ulysses Rusher in vehicle uh, attempts to drop off his mother's early voting ballot in Tarrant County Elections Center in Fort Worth on Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. So the question that we're going to be asking here is, uh, what's going on in the picture? What kind of voting is he trying to do? Who is he trying to do it for? And should it be okay for people to deliver a sealed vote on behalf of an elderly or disabled person? Why or why not? And then we're going to do another one. So this one's from Georgia. On October 12th, the first day of in-person voting, 120 8,590 Georgians cast their ballots, uh, a 42% increase from the same day in the last presidential cycle. So what, what's going on here? You know, let's talk about who's standing in line. What are they, why would they be doing this so early? And um, why isn't it, why do you think it's important to them? And uh, also, why is voter participation, why do you think voter participation is up? What could be happening that have motivated these people to, to vote early and to stand in this line? Okay, then we take a look at two more videos. So um, this one is, uh, is about the, it covers the, the new Texas law. And I, I, I think that it, you know, kind of taps out at, at 213. So um, the, the questions that I would ask is, uh, who is changing how people vote in the state of Texas? Who is ag against changing the vote? Um, why and what might be the effects of this, of this change? And then we'll take a look in Georgia. This is um, a clip. So I just clip out uh, the commentary uh, so that they can just see what happened. And it starts at 101 and ends at 238. And it's uh, uh, Senator Kennedy with from Louisiana with uh, Stacey Abrams debating the new Georgia bill. And the questions that I would ask what is, what are they debating? What is Senator Kennedy's demeanor and why? What about, and Stacey Abrams' demeanor? and why, uh, why do you think they are debating this issue? If laws like this are allowed to stand, what effects might they have on our country? And um, are voting rights guaranteed? Should they be in the constitution? Why do you think they are being changed? Okay. And, oh yeah, here, is your vote, is your right to vote guaranteed? Why or why not? And discuss it. And then voting rights today, let's go back to the original question. Do we still have voter suppression today? Why or why not? And uh, this is really an open kind of classroom discussion. Um, and then, the activity that I would have them do is to investigate in small groups, find five petitions about voting that you would like to sign on a website like change.org. Then in your group, vote on one to research and create a pitch to the class. So make a presentation that's a pitch to the class. They can use whatever resources or materials that they'd like. Um, as long as it answers, what does this issue have to do with voting rights? Why is it important? Why should we believe in it? How can we participate in making this change? So what actions can we do? And are there any that you will do?
And then here's a, the copy of the uh, KLW chart, a KWL chart <laughs> that I would give them. And then here are all the discussion questions that I addressed. And um, at the end is the TEKS and connections to social studies standards. So uh, this, is, this is a clear citizenship uh, TEKS. Um, the students understand the importance of individual participation in the democratic process um, and local, state, and national levels and explain why individuals have a duty to participate in its local state national levels and um, how to contact a, a elected or, or local leaders. Uh, that's what the petition part comes in. Um, and it, if we wanted to, if, if one of the pitches includes, which I'm sure that it will, a letter, then, um, you know, then that might be included into, into a separate activity. And okay. So, and then connections to social studies. In this lesson, we are sowing the seeds for building an active informed justice oriented citizen by learning about laws that are happening now. We can do this by building the building blocks of knowledge, interest and motivation for, to partic for participation and act. First, we will assess what our students already know about the topic. What knowledge do they bring to the table? What knowledge can they share with the class? Then we will inform ourselves on the topic, the background and current events. Finally, students will do their own investigations and research into petitions that they believe in and pitch it to the class and the teacher. This allows students to do their own research into an aspect of voting or voting rights and then make an informed argument for the rest of us to take action with. So I hope that you enjoyed this presentation and my blog of the week. Um, I haven't added it yet, but I will add a slide of my um, further reading and uh, references. So uh, have a wonderful day. Bye.